Getting to march across the field on Friday nights with the band, you, you get that warm, fuzzy feeling, you know, and you say, hey, I'm part of this band family. Part of the Abilene High band family for the past three years. But Mariah Long's place here wasn't always so clear. The doctors knocked the props right out from underneath us and told us that there would never be a chance ever that she would potentially be able to see. Mariah was born 100% blind. I can't see light or anything at all. I do know when the sun's there, though. I stopped and thought, why did it happen to me? You know, why was, why was God punishing me? But then, you know, I sat back and took upon myself to look and see that he wasn't really punishing me. He was giving me a gift. One, two, three, four. Kimberly's five, gift was Mariah. Mariah's gift was music. A world without music would be, well, I'd go blind, really. Like, more than I, more than I already am. <laughs> more than I already am. Because music, I can see things through music. She's actually a very good player. You can tell her what to play one time and she can play it. Um, she makes a few mistakes, but not very many and not very often. Mariah isn't a student at Abilene High. She goes to Adams, but her sophomore year, a policy change at AISD allowed her to take extracurricular classes like band at Abilene High. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right, right, right. For Mariah, it was a dream come true. Then she's been playing the baritone by ear. She was band director Paul Walker's first completely blind student. It's improved my communication skills quite a bit. And, um, but it's also opened my eyes to how fast people can catch on to things. Every minute of every class, you know she's listening. Marching was another challenge. That's where Mariah's parents came in. Two, three, four, five, six, Last year, her mother spent more than 150 hours at band practices helping her learn the steps. Box drills. Woo, box drills. Oh, I hate box drills. <laughs> I wouldn't trade it for the world. Five, six, seven, eight. You can't go right. I don't think I could let someone else teach her to do what she does out on the field. Somewhere along the way, Ain't nobody got time for that. It was Mariah who became the teacher. There are times when I kind of get down and think that there, I, there's no way I can do that. Um, but she's like, Mom, if I can do it, you can do it. I've learned so much from her, and I've learned so much about kids and the human spirit. This is the first and last year Mariah will march across the field with the Abilene High School Band. To look at her and see her face and to see the excitement on her face and the pride that her parents have in her and what she can do, that's why I teach. I didn't get where I'm at just by sitting and letting people do things for me. I had to work and it may not be easy, but you know, you, you can do it. Jennifer Kendall. And there may be times where, where you, where you want to give up, and you can't. That's what I'm talking about! K-Texas News. Go Eagles! She could teach a whole lot of us a lesson. Mariah will graduate this spring. She's planning on going to college to possibly study music. Man.